I can't see a thing, Jim. Well, hold on. I swear, it's always some damn thing. Wait, got it. Ah, oh, hell, this thing ain't gonna hold. Shut up. Damn, you're ugly. You girl strapped in nice and tight now. Hatter, your mama's <laughs> What you got for me out there, Joey Ray? We got terror for sure. I don't know about the rest. We got a big old buttload of floating debris out here. We hit pay dirt this time for sure. Explain to me how we're gonna get all this home. I'm detached and moving toward the derelict spacecraft. Damn it, Jim. Video's out again. Well, quit picking at it. I ain't picking at it, damn it. I'm out here with a hint of my game up in here and I'm here to act. 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 I'm
Well, all that, all that we're going to fight in this mission here are these Zerglings anyway, and they don't even have range, an ranged attack. Doesn't mean that they aren't useful, but they they don't really they're not really the best unit against our our group of marines here. Mainly because the marines have a ranged attack, so what you can do is just stand there and have them run to you and then shoot them in the meantime, just so you take minimum damage, even though it's not really necessary because there's no need to preserve your marines here. I'm pretty sure those Zerglings never attack you even if you leave your base entirely undefended. And there's still four of them here, so there is that. Let's build one more of you. Yep, there we go. I've got something to shoot right there. That's okay. Not really all that dramatic. And how much do we need for a refinery? We do need just a hundred crystals. That's just fine. But we need another supply depot as well. Then again, I may as well get the... Oh yeah. We require more minerals. We may as well build the refinery in the meantime, so we can gather some more crystals while we're waiting for that. And then we need to gather 100 Vespian gas. Not quite sure what... This doesn't look safe, just being here in the middle of town, but then again. These games always need to have excuses why there are still resources in the middle of civilized areas. Growing or just kind of there. Tiberium. Well, Tiberium everywhere, that's probably justified. And need crystals. It's probably illegal in the confederacy to harvest these when you're just a regular citizen and not don't have a government contract or so, so I probably shouldn't be surprised here. Also you can build me that so pretty or can you? Nope, because I just used all those crystals for to build that uh, Vespin gas refinery. Yeah, Starcraft 2 has automated refineries which are quite neat so you don't need to have anyone actually gathering the resource, which I'm not quite sure whether that's faster, but it's definitely faster in the sense that if the refinery is very far away from your base, you don't need to build another another HQ there just so you can bring the resource down there. Then again, these guys here can fly, so there's that. The refinery processes raw Vespine gas, converting it into a form which your SCVs can gather. Yep, got nice gas canisters there, and since we have all the buildings we need, you may as well join the Vespin gas harvesting process here. As you can see, we're not playing the remastered version of StarCraft because that one, all it does is increase the quality of the graphics, but if you play in high resolution like this, the graphics look actually pretty good, even today. And other than that, this, the remastered version is just a little bit of a mess. And it does increase the resolution, but not the zoom. Not even for signal player. I can understand that for multiplayer they don't want. This concludes the equipment demonstration. There will now be a fully catered reception at Marsara base. Awesome. Can't wait for the drinks. So what I want to say is that this was a glorious victory. And the master version isn't really worth it. It allows you it allows you to see a little bit more because it does support widescreen resolutions, or at least 16 to 9. I don't. It doesn't support ultra widescreen. It, it doesn't support 16 to 10 from what her, from what I've heard. But they might have fixed that. In any case, looks like they still call the Zerg unidentified creatures here. In the demo campaign, they call them xenomorphs using aliens technology, well, not technology terminology there. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I shall see you next time in Wasteland, the first true mission.